our census is in trouble. That form you fill out every 10 years? Congress has been starving it of funds, and if some lawmakers have their way, it's going to get even worse. So what? Why does it matter? Well, the Founding Fathers thought it did. The first census took place in 1790. James Madison designed it, Thomas Jefferson oversaw it. In fact, the Founding Fathers put the census in the fifth paragraph of the Constitution. The fifth! That's even before the part explaining Congress and the President. They felt that in order to govern effectively, they needed a way to monitor the nation's health, know where its people lived, and what they needed. This makes sense if you think about it. Census data helps our government plan everything from building schools to emergency response. Data is the key word here. Imagine planning a new preschool based on anecdotal evidence. Or take driving to work. Local governments look at census population data to decide where to build new roads and when to fix old ones. Monthly and yearly data from the Census Bureau helps us figure out when people in certain cities have no health insurance and where people are struggling to find jobs. And it's not just the government that uses it. That local coffee shop where you stop for your daily cup of joe? The census helped the store's owner get her small business bank loan, and as the data predicted, she's now so popular she's looking to expand. That means more jobs, but more importantly, more killer cronuts. Even the GPS in your car and the real estate app on your phone use maps built on US census data. Census, it's like the force. It's all around us. So if everybody uses it, then why is the census in danger of losing funding? Opponents say it's expensive, and it is. You try counting a third of a billion people. And as the nation gets bigger and more diverse, traditional counting measures are reaching their limits. Others suggest we should let the private sector take over. Even in our super tech, iGadget world, no profit-driven company can generate the kind of information governments and businesses need to stay ahead. That's exactly why our census needs stable funding. It's kind of like an Olympian. While it may seem like it's on vacation for 10 years, it needs to train to perform even better next time. And no matter how much it costs, the census is really a bargain. Census statistics generate $6 for every $1 spent. Hit it. Turns out all those highways, new businesses, and properly stocked stores are a boon to economic activity. President Herbert Hoover said, the census furnishes a datum point from which we move in every advancement of the country. And he was right. Our road from 13 colonial upstarts to the largest economy in the world was paved on census data. Pretty cool story, huh? Our global landscape is changing quicker than ever. Let's keep the census funded. Learn more at AmericanProgress.org.